Hello captains, this is Kent again and welcome to the flight show. So as promised, I was really, really impressed with the scenery that I downloaded for one of my previous videos, which was Reunion, which is a, a small island um, off the Madagascar coast. And this scenery comes, it's from Aerosoft and it comes with two airports and a bunch of heliports and the, the entire island scenery. It is really amazing. I thought I would give you a chance to see it because in my regional series I'm picking some places off the beaten path that you may not you know know about that you might want to take a look at and if you are a general aviation flyer this scenery in my humble opinion is a must-have Now I'm not being <coughs> paid to endorse this or anything I was just using it for one of my videos and I fell in love with it so I thought we should uh, go for a tour and check out what it has to offer so one of the things that we're going to do is fly to an airport it's one of the heliports in fact uh, the heliport we're going to go to is la nouvelle and it's up in the mountains only way you can get up there uh other than i su suppose like uh, small roads so let's uh check that out real fast i'm going to put this in my nav real quick okay so i have the navs right here so we'll have a nice direct gps flight to uh, the particular helipad that we're going to visit, which again is, sorry I was looking off a uh, page in Reunion, it's in Reunion La Nouvelle, so let's uh, go ahead and do this. Now with this particular bell, we have to be particularly careful of not over torquing the engine, it, it will burn out on you. But once this play, you know, helicopter gets going, it gets going. <coughs> And this is going to be an opportunity for you to see a really beautiful day out. And a lot of the scenery. I mean, check out this autogen scenery. It's, it, it's, it, it's incredible. Traffic along the road also helps with the immersion. Check out the solar panels. This island, I've noticed, has a lot of alternative energy sources with solar panels and windmills. Now, if you go discovering, because this is a VFR pilot's dream, you go discovering, you will actually catch some, uh, as I understand it, some parasailing going on. I haven't found it yet, but it's out there. Okay, so we're going to have to get up over the mountain, but to... Uh, help ensure we don't need an incredibly high rate of descent. Uh, I'm going to go through this valley which will give us a little bit more time to get up. But then you'll also get to appreciate the topography that is uh, included in the scenery. Give you a quick look outside of the helicopter. If I didn't, there is a car floating. Do not ask me. I do not know. I just noticed that. Like, what is that? Let's go now. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm on the verge of saying that this is photo real. I have to look in the specs and see that it actually is, but even if it isn't it's really good and then the shrubbery as you can see on the mountainsides just really helps this look realistic
about a little over a thousand feet per minute. We're able to keep 90 miles per hour in terms of our indicated airspeed, so that's cool. Whoop. This can give you a little bit of a sense of vertigo. It's cool for it to be that immersive. Now what we're going to do is when we find the helipad, we're going to uh, try to set her down. The reason I just switched those, it looks like when you have this view that the helicopter is like slightly at a, it's like banked to the right. But I wanted to go in the cockpit and see that I'm not banked at all, so I guess it's just the positioning of the camera that gives it that illusion. Ah, look at that. An opening in the mountains. Okay, so the heliport is ahead of us, and I forget what its elevation is. I'm doing this kind of VFR. Proper flight planning would be that I know its elevation so I can prepare to be at a decent altitude. But when I, I did this as a test run the first time, I was just like, well, let's see if we can find it. and. Um, you know, to to its credit, you know, the pad is tiny considering the elevation you're at. So it, it took a minute to find it. But this is my third time doing this, so I, I should expect to find it a little bit quicker. And just having a little bit more familiarity with the geographic region, um, I realize that it's going to be... Uh, in this area, Let's see if I can show you. It's going to be in this region right about here. At least I think so. Unless it's on the other side of the ledge, but I don't think it is. I could be wrong. We'll see. Okay, so it would be. Because as I look at the uh, GPS, we still have a little bit of a ways to go. So it's on the other side of the ridge. That's good. And you'll see a little village or town up here, which I guess is another way that you access this place other than just the, the roads, the dirt roads. There's no freeway that I can see up here. But if you are an adventurist, I can see why people would want to visit here. And in fact, there just recently had a person uh, comment and said, you know, I'm from here and you really should visit. And you know what? Based on what I've seen in this, I think I would want to. It's incredible. Okay, we're coming up on it now. slow it down and first slow down then drop off some altitude we should be seeing the heliport down in this region should be very close to it Woof. Like 
really do get a feel of elevation looking out of this uh, helicopter. Okay, so bring this to a near hover and bring it around. Practically on top of it. We'll see it in just a moment. I'm going to move out a little bit, hold our altitude, and then turn around and we should be able to see it. But it's behind us, no worries. Now, that's, that's the same kind of little pause I get just before I'm about to land, like at a, at a you know, normal airport. Interesting that I get it here as well. Okay. Oh, nice hover. Okay. So I should see it. Just looking around. Let's get a little elevation. Well, I know I could be below it. But I tell you, um, if there are those that have been reluctant to fly helicopters with prepared and flight simulator X, I can tell you what I, I was always reluctant because they were very hard to control. I didn't feel any enjoyment out of it. But what I realize now is it was the frame rates. And when you have really good frame rates, you really can enjoy uh, flying helicopters in prepared. Okay, Give a little bit of head speed, but not too much. We're not going far. Let's zoom this in just a little bit. Okay. Hey, let me tell you, when I did this the last time, I turned on real weather, and there was like a big old cloud over here, and I was like, I am going to run into something. I don't feel comfortable at all. It was actually a little intimidating, and to be perfectly honest, I think that says a lot about prepared and this particular scenery, that it was made so well that you got a little nervous that you might crash into a mountain. It was really scary and cool at the same time. I think I should be seeing it now. Well, it says behind us at this point. Ah, I see it. <clears throat> it was right below the village. Okay. Okay, so... It's right... If you look at the little beam across my window, my beam is right under it. On that ledge. Excellent. Oh yeah, 
this is wonderful. But I'm glad it's a clear day. Could you imagine living up here? I, mean, I guess the first thing is what is my day to day task? What is my profession? And then two, I mean, imagine if you wanted to come down to the down to the uh, shoreline, what do you would have to do? I mean, this just doesn't, I don't know for a fact, this doesn't really look a lot very accessible by vehicle. I imagine a horse or donkey, but that could be very stereotypical. <clears throat> but clearly, they put a heliport here for a reason. I wonder if they bring supplies in regularly at the heliport. Okay, so let's move over sideways a bit. Here's that pause. <clears throat> All right. Okay, there's the pad. And I'm going to put it at the, uh, not the big one off to the side. No, no, that'd be too easy. We're going to go for the H right there in the middle towards the uh, maintenance shed. Or hangar, as it were. Okay, there we go. see how we did. Whew! Almost off the back. Let's move you just forward a little bit. That's all. Okay. Whew! That was a challenge. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to one more heliport just to give you a little bit more of a tour of the place. And so what we'll do is we're going to go to FEMM2, which is, oh, it turned out that that where I want to go is Lo Novelle. I have it written down in my book and I mixed up lines. Where we are is uh, Le Porte. We're going to go now to Le Nouvelle. Or at least I think that's right. No, we're going to St. Giles. I was right the first time. All right, so St. Giles. So let's go ahead and put this in our flight planner. So we're going to go to F M E 2. Right there on the coastline. VFR. Overwrite, sure. Don't move me. Okay. Alright, say bye to everybody. We're going to go on out of here. Slowly back out. out this way now my map hasn't seemed to update I don't oh you know what I didn't change I didn't change the origin so it's really showing the route from where we took off from but that's fine because I intercept that line
this really does give you a sense of elevation and vastness. And I think that's to the credit. I can only imagine what this would look like in VR goggles. There is the rest of the island emerging. GPS said there's another airstrip right over there by the ocean front. I don't see it in particularly, but now it's there. It might be like really on the edge, so I can't see it clearly from this distance. should be coming up on the heliport. Now again, from up here, it's small. It is really small. And that's an interesting thing about flying to a lot of these heliports is that, you know what? I think we're passing, yeah, FME3 as well. So I think I'm gonna fly over it on our way to FME2. Uh, but what I was saying is, you're, you sometimes get so used to flying into airports that are very large that heliports can be very tiny and so you can take for granted how easy it is to find an airport versus a uh, heliport I believe that's it right there in front of us we'll buzz it see what it looks like yeah, there it is. And then 
we'll swing to the left and head to the uh, other heliport. Yeah, quite a few helipads there. So start to slow down because I'm going to put it down on this heliport. From the last time that I landed here, I do recall it's near the freeway, and as you can see, the freeway is right there to the uh, right. So this one should not be as challenging to have to find. there. Uh -huh, there it is. Let's see if we can set it down. I, I, I actually had on my uh, uh, H, uh, ATC Pro when I was doing a tour of the island and what was interesting is the helicopter approached the pad the uh, ATC said reduce your speed to 20 knots or even 10 knots I was like wow that's cool all right here we go couple of cars in the parking lot. Hopefully, hopefully that's uh, DoorDash or uh, Uber Eats because I'm kind of hungry. Alright, slow down the descent. Easy, easy. Go forward a little bit. We should be able to put it down. Uh-uh-uh. Go uh, uh. forward. There we go. Go forward. Don't overcorrect, which is exactly what I'm doing. And then, right on it. All right, so I'm giving you a little bit of a VFR tour. There is so much to see. I wouldn't have time to show you everything. There are volcanoes to look for, helipads uh, to find. Uh, there's just, there's like I said, there's some people that are uh, parasailing. You know, check them out and find it. And I don't think P3D like included gliders in version 5, but if you think back to the gliders in Flight Simulator X, uh, I think this would probably be an excellent place to do some gliding, uh, catch some thermals, get some altitude, and fly around. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed my little tour here of a reunion. Uh, again, this is I'm highly recommending this on one of those off the beating path best sceneries that you just probably never heard of. Uh, and I hope for the gentleman who commented on my page last time. I hope I gave the tour justice. Well, I appreciate you tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the virtual skies.